Centre Inner Space Water Sports is trying to encourage more women to join the sport of snow biking. So I thought we'd head out to Sovereign Lakes and let's try it out. I just think it's really cool to see how much it's grown with the girls in our community. Like there's a pretty decent handful of girl riders and it's just really cool to see when we bring all the ladies together. It's, it's empowering really. I mean, being a solo girl in this sport can be hard. Picking up the bike, loading, unloading. But if you have one or two or three other girls that are into it with you, it makes it really accessible and you can do it as a pair of two girls. Like my riding buddy Tamara Goodridge and I go out and we just do our thing and we just work really well together. And it's really cool to see when more and more girls come in and just to see it all grow, the network of ladies around here. The biggest thing is starting and stopping. So we thought by making a lower bike, it might kind of remove the barrier of people initially thinking that these things are super intimidating or scary, that they can't do it. So we sometimes will put girls on the Little Ripper, which is a 110 little CC bike, get them kind of used to the clutch. It's very, very like safe and tame. You can touch the ground. You can't make a ton of mistakes with it. Um, and then we'll progress them into a 250 or a 350. And I found the 250. It's got just the right amount of power it can get you around, but it's not so much power like the 450s that you're just gonna get yourself into a bad situation. Um, so we found this year, I've taken I think probably 10 new girls out because of the 250 and kind of riding around Sovereign and people are learning that, hey, I actually can do this and it doesn't take the power that you have to like manhandle a sled. So a lot of girls are realizing that it's a sport that they can easily get into. And then you can turn it back to dirt and ride your dirt bike. <laughs> For more information, head to okanagansnowbikes.ca. Forecasting at News in Kelowna, I'm Laura Brooks.